I'm Charlie Taylor and welcome to Chapter 9. This is one of the longest chapters in this video and primarily designed for those of you who have decided to hire a TSEM service provider, as well as for those of you who are considering entering the TSEM industry. This chapter is probably a little more technical than what some of you would like, but it's really important for me to discuss the different types of TSEM equipment and their technical capabilities. Okay, first of all, I want to recommend that as you watch this chapter, you take some basic notes. Don't worry, I'll tell you when you need to specifically write something down, but taking general notes will help you to also retain much of the information I'm going to share with you in this chapter. There are four internationally known manufacturers of TSEM equipment that are considered to be well-recognized companies producing quality equipment. They are, in alphabetical order, Audiotel International in England, Information Security Associates, or ISA, in Connecticut, Research Electronics International, or REI, in Tennessee, and Winkleman UK Limited in England. I suggest that you press the pause button on your remote control until you have the names of these four companies written down, and then press the play button when you're ready to continue. The reason I've asked you to write these companies' names down was so that when you're getting quotes from different TSEM service providers, you can ask them about what equipment they have from these companies. If they say none, then you should probably keep looking. Now, let me briefly talk about each of these companies. With over 20 years of stable ownership and management, REI has established itself as one of the world's largest manufacturers of professional TSEM equipment. I recently traveled to REI, which is probably my favorite of these four companies, to learn a little bit more about their management and engineering staff. And I must tell you, I was very, very impressed with the company. REI distinguishes itself from some of the other TSEM equipment manufacturers by keeping its engineering, research and development, and almost all manufacturing processes in-house, ensuring that their products are the highest quality and utilize the latest technology. REI's customers include federal agencies, law enforcement organizations, corporations, and private TSEM sweep teams in over 85 countries. REI also maintains a Center for Technical Security Training Facility with over 6,000 square feet of classrooms and live project rooms for real-world TSEM exercises, where students get hands-on experience conducting TSEM sweeps in a controlled environment. While most of this training is centered on using their products, the training does include a broad overview of most all areas of eavesdropping. Audiotel International is based in England and has been in business for over 20 years. While the company's undergone some ownership and management changes over the last few years, it continues to be one of the more established manufacturers with reliable products. Personally, I've never traveled to their facilities, so I can't vouch for their in-house manufacturing or engineering staff. However, Ian Roberts, their managing director, has really impressed me. ISA is a company that is near and dear to my heart and is run by one of the industry's most established leaders, Sam Dascom. ISA was clearly the world leader in the development of TSEM equipment in the 1980s and 90s but to my knowledge has not continued to develop any new product designs for the last several years. However, in my opinion, their equipment is still considered to be reliably manufactured and excellent TSEM tools. The last company on my list is Winkleman UK Limited, which is based in England. Personally, I've never had any exposure to their products or equipment, but they do have a reputation of being a quality company. There are four primary categories of equipment that I'd like to discuss in this chapter. They are radio receivers and spectrum analyzers, non-linear junction detectors, time domain reflectometers, and telephone instrument analyzers. Okay, let's start by discussing radio receivers and spectrum analyzers. In chapter four, I discussed the basics of radio bugs, but I really didn't discuss any details about what radio frequencies they use. Most all commercially available radio bugs operate in the frequency range of 100 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz. And I would venture to say that 99% of those operate in the 200 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz range. While I've never personally seen a radio bug 
that transmits at the same radio frequencies as the new cordless phones that operate at 5.6 gigahertz, I know that there was at least one found last year by a TSEM service provider. I personally believe that there will be lots of these manufactured during the next few years, and there might be more than just a few out there right now. Anyway, if you work with a company that does not deal with the threat of foreign economic espionage, then most quality countermeasures receivers and spectrum analyzers will be sufficient if they cover the frequency range of 100 kHz to 7 GHz. Please write these frequencies down. Also, if your company does deal with foreign economic espionage threats, then you definitely want the TSEM service provider to own radio receivers and spectrum analyzers that will cover the frequency range of 10 kHz on the low side to at least 20 GHz on the high side. If you remember in Chapter 4, I spoke about how most commercially available radio bugs are pretty easy to detect. Well, that's true if you're in the same room with the radio bug, and it's operating at the same time as the TSEM sweep. Many of the lower-cost TSEM broadband receivers, which I'll talk about in a minute, do a pretty good job of detecting these devices. I guess I need to footnote that statement by saying that a lot of the low-powered FM radio bugs can beat most broadband radio receivers if they're operating in a major city and several stories up. However, many of these types of receivers are very good for quick walkthroughs and will probably detect 90% of the bugs operating in the same room. I should point out, by the way, that several professional eavesdroppers will frequently install a hardwired microphone in the targeted room and then install his radio transmitter some distance down the microphone's wires. This is one of the reasons that a good TSEM service provider will have more expensive tunable radio receivers and spectrum analyzers. All right, let's talk about the different categories of RF detection equipment that a TSEM service provider should have. The most basic of these is a radio scanner that covers all the required frequencies, but most do not. However, I understand that ICOM makes a pretty good scanner called the R20 that covers the 150 kHz to 3.3 GHz range. Additionally, the CPM700 counter surveillance receiver made by REI is a very good product in this category. The CPM700 is a broadband detector that responds to RF transmitters up to 12 GHz, as well as carrier current transmitters and infrared transmitters. Unlike scanning receivers, the CPM700 responds to total transmitted energy, regardless of signal spreading or frequency agility, making it very effective at detecting frequency hopping, spread spectrum, and other sophisticated transmitters. Depending on the frequency detection range you want to cover, the CPM700 sells for anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000. In my opinion, this is a really good piece of equipment. Another radio detection receiver I like is the Delta 5 ECM differential detector made by Audiotel. The Delta 5 is a handheld differential RF field strength wideband detector. Rather than measuring the absolute field strength, the Delta 5 measures the rate of change in field strength. I recently played with this device in the midst of a lot of radio signals at a security trade show, and I must admit I was really impressed with its capabilities. 